Okay, friends who live in short gardening seasons, have you ever grown dahlias and glads and you never actually got to see them bloom because you were surprised by an early frost? Don't let that gardening tragedy happen to you. I'm gonna show you what to do to be a little bit of an insurance policy and make sure that you get to see those beautiful blooms. Hi, I'm Kristen with Shifting Roots and I help gardeners in cold climates and short growing seasons grow vegetables and flowers with ease. If you also live in a similar climate, you'll definitely want to hit that like, follow, and subscribe button. As well, every day I show up on Instagram and Facebook and I show you exactly what I'm doing in my garden in real time. So definitely want to follow along so you know what to do in your garden as well. Today, I'm going to show you why and how you should start your gladiolus and your dahlias ahead of time instead of planting it out after the last frost has happened. You see, the problem is this. When you live in a cold climate with a short growing season, sure, you can plant out your dahlias and your glads after that risk of frost has happened, but say you get a little bit delayed, say you wait a week or two, or maybe some bad weather happens and you absolutely have to. Now come all the way to the end of August, or beginning of September, you're finally getting those blooms and then you get a surprise early frost and you don't even get to see your blooms or maybe you just get to see one or two. So this right here is my way of trying to put a little bit of an insurance policy in there so that you actually get to enjoy those blooms that you've worked so hard for. Now, if you live in a warmer zone than I do, if you have a longer growing season to work with than I do, then this is probably not like something you necessarily need to do. You can plant your stuff after the last risk of frost has passed and you'll be totally fine. You will get to see your blooms. But for those of us with growing seasons that are around that 100 day mark, this is something we really need to do just to enjoy that beauty that we've worked so hard for. Okay, so let's get into it. First, we're gonna start with the glads. So I'm currently filming this on April 14th, and this is actually way too early for April 14th, but because of my job and what I do and what I want to teach to you, I needed to make sure that I had some glads that were at ready to go before I actually did this teaching and made this video because it would just make more sense if you could see kind of what the end product looked like. Now, if you're watching this around April 14th, um, this is actually the perfect time to start this. Basically any time from mid to end April is ideal to start your glads and dahlias indoor. And the awesome thing is you don't actually need soil. You can just put the glads in water. You can just leave the dahlias exactly as they are and it's going to be fine. But don't worry, we're gonna break this down. To start your glads, you're just gonna need an empty container Typically my family uses a pie plate. This is just half of a croissant container that I cut up. It just needs to be shallow. And for our purposes, I've picked clear so you can see how much water I'm putting in. The gladiolus corms will come in looking like this when you first get them out of the package. And so what you wanna do is make sure that they're all facing up. So this little pointy bit here, that's up. And this bit right here, that's down. So we'll just place them in the container, all my pointy sides up. Now I can fill this container right up. Um, this is just the only ones I have that haven't already sprouted. So then you have your water here and all you're gonna do is just pour in the water. And that water is just gonna come up to towards sort of the bottom bits of the glads and then you're just going to check them every day and once the water is gone you fill it again and that's it literally all you have to do to get your glads to look like this what can i say you just you can't micromanage mother nature over time the roots will come out like this and you'll also see this little green part coming up. Now this one was sitting crooked, so now this is coming crooked, but if I sit this one straight, it will fix itself with the sun. And eventually you're gonna have a giant root system like this and a nice glad that's ready to go. So I could actually plant this right now if it was time. And when I'm planting it, I'm gonna plant it up to about here and which I'll show you in these next clips.
Now, one thing I didn't mention is it's okay if you do this under a grow light, and it's also okay if you do this up against a window. Either way it'll work, just if you're up against a window, make sure that you're rotating your container every couple of days so that you get nice straight stems and that they're not wobbling to one side or the other. Okay, so now let's start with the dahlias. So whenever I talk about my no soil method with dahlias, people like have a really hard time believing me because whenever you get dahlias, you see them nicely potted up or you see them in individual containers. And it seems really crazy to believe that like you just sit them under lights and they grow and it's fine. Yes, yes, I promise you, you sit them under lights, they grow, it's fine. So I'll show you a dahlia here. The nice thing about this method is that if you're really nervous about um, cutting your dahlia tubers because you need a neck and an eye and a body for all of them, but sometimes it's hard to figure out which is the eye, then um, it's really obvious because the eye is where the green bit is growing. So you need a neck, there's a body, and then these bits are where the eyes are. So again, like here's a body. Can't really see the neck on this guy, but that's okay. And so body, sort of a neck, and then little eyes in there. So I could easily cut this dahlia here. I could cut it here. And as long as I had those three components, the neck, the eye, and the body, I can cut that dahlia up. Here's another one. So for this method, you don't even need water. I do not water these dahlias. I do not miss these dahlias. They literally just sit there. So if you started them early April or maybe even a little bit earlier, um, then if you feel like the tubers are starting to dry out or you're getting enough of a green bit to take a cutting, then definitely put it in soil. But if you're just a regular home gardener, you wanna get a head start with your dahlias, then you probably don't need to put them in soil until it's actually time to plant somewhere around that May long weekend for us, those of us in zone three or the prairies or for any of my American friends, May long weekend is about the third weekend in May when we celebrate Victoria Day. The other thing is say you are a cut flower farmer and you actually wanna sell these dahlias to other people for like a seedling sale or something like that, then I would just pot them up in containers right away because it's just gonna look nicer. You're guaranteed that your stems are gonna go straight because that's the other thing with this method is if your tuber is kind of crooked or a different way, um, if you don't watch it, then you'll get a stem that kind of grows up like that. And that's not ideal, especially if you're selling. But as I said before, if for some reason, say you're ordering dahlias and they're not coming yet, or you just pick them up and it's like already May, it's okay. You don't actually have to start them. This is just our insurance policy for those of us in a short growing season with a cold climate. And if for some chance that frost doesn't come until like say September 15th, September 30th, then it's fine. You will definitely get some blooms, you know, unless you like don't water them or something, but you should get blooms. watching this thing and realizing that you're feeling in over your head with cut flowers and how to grow them and what to do and what to pick, I have a really excellent resource for you. It's called Cut Flowers Made Simple. And basically it's just an easy system. There's done for you plans and it just makes everything around cut flowers so much easier and well, simple. So you can grab yours down below in the link. I also have an upgraded version called the ultimate flower bundle for those of you who are a little bit more serious about upping your cut flower gardening game. Finally, before we go, one thing I really want to impart to you is that you are not behind. If you haven't started anything yet, it's okay. If you decided that like you don't have time for what you just saw, it's okay. You can still plant your dahlias after those that first frost and it's going to be fine. Just don't get caught up in the comparison trap. You know, we're all learning, we're all growing, we're all gonna make mistakes. So just you do to you, 
do the best you can and you just add a little bit more every year and you just your garden gets better and better and better so if you want more content like this hit that like and subscribe button notification bell you know the drill <laughs> and again i show up every day on instagram and facebook to show you exactly what i'm doing in my garden in real time all right we'll see you in the next one Bye bye